I'm pissed. <laughs> Are you freaking get Oh my god. To even try to begin explaining what just happened. I mean, obviously you guys have a slight idea because of the title, but I can't even believe what just happened. <laughs> what just happened? Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm waiting. TJ is in the car next to me getting Ella in her car seat. Um, so, what the heck is... What is that? Um, <laughs> so today is Tuesday, and this is kind of irrelevant, but just kind of part of the story. On Tuesdays, Ella goes to TJ's mom. Um, she sees her once a week. It's just kind of a day that... I drop her off early in the morning and then I go to my parents restaurant where I do like a lot of prep work and I basically work until like the prep is done and then after the prep is done then I'll like DoorDash or if I have chores to get done that would be like easier without Ella you, you know what I mean it's just easier to do certain things without kids so it's my one day to just kind of make a little bit of extra money and do whatever I gotta do. So I'm door dashing, right? No, I scheduled, I had a door dash between 3.30 and 4. I got like one, I have to be really careful because it's a fire truck behind me. Which way are you turning, T? Um, I got one delivery to Taco Bell. I got one delivery to Taco Bell and then it was like literally down the street. It was like a $10 order I got. Um, super fast, super easy, right? So four o'clock comes after my delivery. My first dash ends. Then I had a second dash scheduled from five to 10.30. I wasn't planning on working till 10.30 but I kind of over scheduled myself a little bit. Um, you know, just in case I want to work a little bit later today. I wasn't sure. TJ has tomorrow off. Um, I would have had a little bit more time to do so. So I, so mind you, I get my, I finished my first DoorDash. I, uh, <laughs> I'm at home. I go and mow the lawn. Takes me about like a half hour. Cause, um, I like to mow the lawn and then like go in like the next day in weed wax so it's not too much in one day so that's what I do I mow the lawn takes me a half hour now it's like 4 30 so I'm just waiting for my next dash to begin so I, I went downstairs in my basement grabbed my laundry and I'm sitting there folding laundry trying to kill another like 15 minutes before I can start dashing get a phone call from <laughs> I can't even effing believe this. I can't believe it. I get a call from TJ and he says, you know, I tell him, I'm like, honey, I, you know, I'm busy. I'm trying to get stuff done. Like, I don't really have time to just sit on the phone. Like, I'm trying to get this done before my next dash. And he's like, well, this is important. He says, um, my mom, his mom, who he's with today, is heading to the uh, emergency walk-in clinic uh, for Ella. And I said, like, what do you mean? What's going on? Like, give me the detail. My heart immediately starts pounding because I'm like, w did they get in an accident? Did she fall and break her leg? Like, what ha What? You know, a million things kind of rush through your mind at once when someone says that. Now, we've had an issue with my cat, Arrow, where we've found a couple ticks on him. Um, there are some nights that he spends all night outside. I can't get him back in and I gotta go to bed. But I was using just like topical tick stuff from Walmart and then we found our first tick. So I'm like, oh no, no, no. So I ended up going to Petco and buying more expensive stuff. Now mind you, he just had his treatment a week and a half ago and they're like monthly treatments. So I'm like, you know, why is he still getting ticks? So, one, I think that I, st I gotta bring him to a vet and get, I think they actually have like vaccinations for cats to not get ticks because it's not working. Um, I think it's keeping the majority of stuff off, but we've, we, he found another one. Um, so I get a phone call saying that they're on their way to the clinic. Ella has a thing on her 
butt cheeks, <laughs> like a little red, uh, what kind of, it kind of looks like a little bullseye and it looks like a, a, a tick bite, but like a tick that wasn't caught right away. So immediately I'm like, oh crap, um, Lyme disease is a huge issue. There is no cure for Lyme disease. You live with it for the rest of your life. There are things that can make you feel better, but that's it. So, um, I'm panicking. I don't even, I don't know that much about Lyme disease, so I didn't know how, like, serious it was. You know what I mean? I don't know how serious it is, so I'm like, just me, be, me being me, I just panic. <laughs> that's my flight or fight response is just a panic. Um, I'm panicking fighting or I'm panicking fleeing. That's just me. Um, something I'm working on. So I call, oh my god, people don't know how to merge. I apologize. I'm on the phone with TJ and I'm like, well, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They're near, they're at a walking clinic near my mother-in-law's, which is about 35 minutes away with no traffic. So I, he's like, I don't really know the exact walk-in clinic. All I know is that it's near her house. So I start, I fly to the, I fly to the, I just start driving to my mother-in-law's. I don't know where I'm going, but I know at least I'm going in the general correct direction. So on my way there, I'm on Bluetooth with him. I'm on Waze. I'm trying to figure, he's like, I don't know the name of the clinic, but it's behind Copper Door. So I put in Copper Door and I am flat, I'm flying. <laughs> Not proud of it, but when you're in panic mode, I'm flying. Um, and then I hit traffic naturally, but I got there fast. <laughs> Let's just say that I got there fast. I'm not proud. I'm pregnant. I got another baby in the car with me, but I was scared. I didn't know what I was going to walk into. So I walk in, my mother-in-law is there. TJ is there. Ella's obviously there. Ella's just like running around having a grand old time. <laughs> like she has no care in the world. So I walk in and give her a big hug and then I try to help um, TJ deal with like all the insurance stuff. You know what I mean? He was like in the middle of putting in all the insurance information because I have her insurance card. So he didn't have that. He didn't know who her, who her pediatrician was, all that crap. I deal with all that. So we get taken back. She gets a little bracelet on. She gets taken back to the room. Now I have a feeling because not that long ago I had gotten blood work done for this new baby and unintentionally I panicked <laughs> who would have guessed I panicked I cried a lot I really tried not to because Ella was there and the only reason that Ella was there is because I really needed TJ to be there with me and I really tried to keep my crap together because I didn't want Ella to be afraid or like think that something was wrong you know what I mean so I really 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 did try to keep it together but I didn't really what is this guy doing but I didn't really do so very successfully this guy on the bike is freaking flying you know she saw my reaction toward needles now the whole time I'm telling this girl like there are no needles the nurses are telling her there's no needles like we're all good all they had to do was take her blood pressure and they used like the little finger one for blood pressure on the kids and she was like, there's a needle in there. And I'm like, there's no needle. So she is turning red. She is crying. You know, she's doing all this stuff. So they stop trying to take her blood pressure. So they take her weight. She calms down a tiny bit. But then I had to get her blood pressure taken. So I had to like kind of hold her finger which as a parent that's such like a crappy feeling like it, it's honestly the worst so they got her blood pressure and once she had it on like she was fine I was giving her big hugs I was giving her big kisses like I was trying everything in my power to keep her calm then they wanted to take her temperature absolutely freaked out and I'm like baby girl you ask me to take your temperature at home all the time like and it wasn't like an ear one like they had an oral one and then they had a forehead one wasn't having the oral one so I asked if they could do the forehead one got that done 
then the doctor comes in. They have me, um, well, they had me change her into a robe to take a look at her bottom. <laughs> Mind you, I've already panicked my entire way here. Um, we went through all that crap with checking her vitals. Her absolutely losing her mind. <laughs> then the doctor comes in and they, you know they pull down her underwear to check her butt cheeks and my husband mentions he says well he said you know I thought it was weird because there's a spot on her underwear that matches up with the stain on her butt cheeks <laughs> so the doctor is like okay like thank you for mentioning that let's try something so she goes and takes a freaking alcohol wipe and wipes it away from her butt. <laughs> it was a stain on her butt. <laughs> it was just a stain. It was just a stain. I, lo I, I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed. Like that was hands down one of the most embarrassing experiences. I said, that was a $50 effing stain. I was pissed. I was so pissed. <laughs> oh my God. And then, so I call my mother-in-law because I want her to know, like, everything's okay. She's dying on the other line. She's like, I'm, I'm so sorry. She's like, I feel like I should cover that copay. <laughs> She's like, she had a red pop <laughs> She said how to red pop today. TJ's pissed. <laughs> he's so pissed. And he's like, green pops from now on. No more red pops. Oh my god. I couldn't even believe it. I absolutely panicked because of a freaking popsicle stain. And you know what? I got a YouTube story time. <laughs> I was pissed. I I said I missed out on my door dashing for a freaking stain. Are you? Oh my god. Can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. I cannot. Even saying it out loud, I cannot believe that this was an actual thing that just happened. I cannot. Oh my god. Oh my god. chill out. Friggin people don't know how to drive, I'm telling you. Everybody's trying to cut each other off. Relax. We're all going somewhere. Just make a chill pill. I, I didn't find it funny at the time. Now I find it hilarious. I hope you guys found it funny too. Oh my god. Being a parent is just... And I have another one coming. It's just... This is the second scare that I've had with Ella. The first time was when she was in that minor car accident um and same thing panicked and she wasn't in a hospital but she was at like they took her to a mcdonald's afterwards um and i flew to the mcdonald's i just like i needed to like see her for myself you know what i mean like i really needed to see that she was actually okay um and then this was the second scare with lyme disease and i just much fun and I'm about to pass them. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this story time, please leave me a thumb up, thumbs up so my heart can stop beating so damn fast. I love you so much. While you're down there, if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit that subscribe button. Follow my crazy life because as boring as it is, once in a while something like this happens and I'll tell you what. This is why I want to stay locked in a house by myself not do anything because that's where i'm safe <laughs> i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye